Okay, we are here today at the 2012 Orange County Vision Symposium We're with Dr. Summit Garg. Thank you Welcome, for Doctor. Me. Thank you for having me. Uh, Dr. Garg, there are several different levels of keratoconus, from mild to severe. Who will benefit most from corneal cross-linking? The person who's going to benefit most from collagen cross-linking is someone who um, we can halt the progression at its earliest stages to try to prevent more invasive uh, therapies such as intax or um, even a corneal transplant. So the goal is to really be a medical treatment for keratoconus, uh, which we don't currently have. So the earlier you can get to somebody after diagnosis, the more likely it is to be a positive benefit. Right, as long as it's safe. So as long as we can prove that the um, treatment is safe and effective, mm -hmm. and, and we know the patient actually has keratoconus and is at risk for progression, uh, that will most likely be the person who benefits most from uh, something like collagen cross-linking. I understand there's a multi-center FDA trial in progress on corneal cross-linking at UCI. Uh, how is this different from current procedures or protocols? There, there is a new trial that we're starting at, at the Gavin Herbert Eye Institute, and it's uh, sponsored by uh, Avidro. Um, and the, um, currently, the uh, protocols for collagen cross-linking uh, involve um, treatments for uh, the actual light treatment for up to 30 minutes. Uh, this treatment is different. It's for three minutes. Uh, and the way uh, we're able to do that is with higher power. Uh, and through initial studies we've shown, or the company has shown, that um, higher power at shorter time gives uh, as efficacious treatment with um, shorter durations, which is mm -hmm. beneficial to the patient uh, and, uh, and the provider. So um, that's what we're starting uh, at the Gavin Herbert Institute. Interesting. So is the total exposure to the patient in your method the same? That's exactly right. So, okay. you know, so it, you're telescoping the, the duration by cranking up the power. Correct. And, 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 and the, the laser um, profile is different, as, or sorry, the light profile is different as well. Mm -hmm. It's very uniform in its profile so that we don't, um, the treatment across the cornea is very uniform compared to some of the other uh, light sources out there which tend to have hot spots more in the oh. center and less in the periphery. This is very uniform across the whole cornea. It gives more of a top hat distribution to the um, treatment. So less time? More effective distribution of the uh, correct. Exposure. That that's that's uh, what our initial uh, results have shown. Well, that's great. Well, thank you very much for your participation. Thank you very much.